Can you tell me why everyone hates a nosy pepper? Because they get jalapeno business. <laughs> you didn't catch it. Jalapeno business, jalapeno business. <laughs> okay, so here's one more. So here is a food tip. You should never cook onions with beans. You know why? Because you'll make tear gas. <laughs> What up guys and welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. For today's quickie meal prep recipe, we have got a Tex-Mex inspired recipe. We're gonna be making a fully loaded stuffed sweet potato. But here is the catch. First I'm gonna show you how to make a meat lovers version and then I'm gonna show you how to make a plant strong, plant dominant version for the vegans in your family or just for you so you can eat a lot more vegetables. And then at the very end of the video, I'm gonna show you all how just to swap out the sweet potato so you can have variety throughout the entire week all right if you are ready to roll up your sleeves and get those hands dirty then let's get started first thing we're going to do is prep the sweet potato poke a few holes in it then bake in the oven for about 45 minutes at 400 next we're going to make the filling so you're going to add a little bit of olive oil and then toss in some colorful bell peppers get a good sizzle going and the more colors the better but at least two once they've got a little bit of color on them, then toss in some garlic and some drained black beans. Fold everything together and be careful not to mash up the beans. And lastly, we're gonna add in a little bit of thawed frozen corn for just a hint of sweetness. Add a pinch of sea salt and pepper and then set it aside. Set the skillet back on the heat, spray it with a little bit of oil Toss in some onion. We're gonna cook these onions up till they turn brown and translucent, just like this. Now, boost the heat just a bit. And toss in your choice of ground meat. I'll be using lean bison. Okay, so when the meat has nearly cooked and there are no more visible pink pieces, you're gonna reduce the heat and then pour in your favorite enchilada sauce. Bring it to a light simmer, then season to taste with a little bit of sea salt and pepper. Set this aside to cool and thicken. Now, for the plant-based swap, I'm gonna get a completely brand new skillet, place it on medium heat, add a little bit of olive oil to the skillet once it's hot, toss in some onions. Same thing, we're gonna cook these down until they're brown and translucent. Next, you're gonna toss in your choice of plant-based protein. I'm gonna be using some garbanzo beans. To add just a bit more flavor to these, I'm gonna sprinkle in some smoked paprika. And get these nice and colorful. Pour in your favorite enchilada sauce. One more again. Bring it to a simmer and season to taste with a little sea salt and pepper. Then set it aside. So here are the main ingredients. We've got our cooked savory meat, we've got our topping, and then we've got our vegan swap and then our baked sweet potato. Now I would recommend keeping everything separate until you're ready to actually build your meals. And remember, especially if you are making this for someone who is plant-based, to keep their stuff separate, okay? Now let's bring everything together. For the main meal, you're gonna take your sweet potato, slice it right down the middle. Now if you are watching the amount of carbs you're eating, and here's a quick trick. Just slice this all the way down the middle, just like this, and just eat half of the sweet potato. It's just that easy. Add in the meat sauce, and you wanna make sure that it's really nice and saucy. Followed by our black bean, pepper, and corn salsa. And only when you're gonna eat this, you can top it off with some fresh mashed avocado. Let it rain, a little bit of cilantro. And if you want, you can add some heat with some jalapeno. For the plant-based version, I'm gonna add in some of our chickpeas topped off with the corn, black bean, and pepper salsa. And then the final thing to add a little bit more variety to your diet this week, you can just ditch the sweet potato and choose rice or quinoa. So here I've got some quinoa or I've got some steamed cauliflower rice. The choice is up to you. All right guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that y'all really enjoyed it. I know you're gonna love this prep. In fact, I want you to comment below how you would tweak this recipe so that way you can have variety all week long. And I love recipes like this because you could just cook once and you can eat something different nearly every single day. It's just that simple. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring that bell so you can be notified every time we post hot new content here on the channel. Again guys, I wanna thank y'all for watching. Until next time, I want y'all to keep it healthy, but of course what? That's right, never ever boring. Ooh, 
Bye, guys. Mal sehen.